Scotch egg is also very delicious with some tuna fish and some mayonnaise. It's a must try recipe. So keep watching. So we need some flour, breadcrumbs, mayonnaise, oil, tuna fish, hard boiled eggs, and in here I have a mixture of different powders such as garlic powder. And in a bowl I'm going to put my tuna fish. So I'm trying to scatter it so that it will be very easy for me to mix the other ingredients into it. And then I will add the powder ingredients. Please, in my description box, I'm going to put all the ingredients and measurement also. And I'm going to give that a good mix. After which, I will add the oil and the mayonnaise and give it a proper mix until everything is well combined. At this point, I'm done mixing and the next thing will be to coat the egg with the fish. So I'm going to take a little bit of the fish or some quantity of the fish, about a spoon, like the spoon I'm holding. Flatten it a little bit with my fingers. I will take the egg, rub it into the flour. Then next, I'm just going to make sure that the egg is covered with the fish. So basically, you have to cover it very well in a way that the, you can't see the egg. So you want to make sure that you have enough fish in your palm. In order to have the same quantity of fish for each egg, you could as well share the fish into the same amount before start coating like if you have seven eggs you can share the fish in seven portions that way you know that you have the same quantity of fish for each egg So you can see that the egg is well covered with the fish. Next, I'm going to put it in the breadcrumbs. Make sure that it is well covered also with the breadcrumbs. Try not to roll it too much in the breadcrumbs so that the breadcrumbs won't be too much on one egg. Just like this is perfect. I'm going to set this aside Repeat the process until all my eggs are coated. So 
So I'm done coating the eggs. Next will be to fry. To fry, make sure the oil is not too hot. It should be on medium heat. Because when the oil is too hot and the heat is too high, it will get black instead of golden brown. So you want to fry this for about three minutes and then it's done. So you can enjoy this with some pepper sauce. I already have a recipe for that also in this channel. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share, like and comment and be sure to try it. If you are a new subscriber here, thank you very much for stopping by. This is Solishai's Cuisine and unto my already lovely family, thank you very much for your support. If you've been watching till this point and still haven't subscribed, please kindly do so and click that notification bell. And until I see you in my next video, stay safe and keep loving each other. God bless you. Bye-bye.